So I'm not going to change the PowerPoint, so I'm just uh, saying that I'm changing the way I teach this particular situation because um, it doesn't really make a lot of sense, uh, the textbook explanations that uh, the positive induction is more stable because it has to get to that situation and why it makes more sense to describe uh, why it gets to that situation the hydrogens get to that situation and as I like to say chemistry is quite easy there's nothing more than positives attracted to negative is all there is to know in chemistry so um, I typically um, will block this out of my head uh, and psychologically refuse to know what that is uh, that rule uh, but I will look at the positives and negatives instead okay so the electronegativity on these is 2.2 and 2.6 so that means there'll be a slight uh, dis, uh, proportion, greatly proportion of electrons to this area, uh, whereas this is a neutral bond, um, sorry, a completely nonpolar bond. Uh, this is a nonpolar bond too, but there's a slight negative in this area. Uh, whereas this one has only one of these hydrogens contributing to this uh, situation. This one's got two hydrogens contributing to this situation. Uh, and so the posneg areas here will, of course, be more attracted to this area here. Uh, than this area here and so this situation is far more likely to evolve uh, and so what I'm saying is the carbon with the most hydrogens is going to be the one that is slightly more negative uh, and therefore that's going to be the one that's going to attract the positive hydrogen therefore that is why this one will occur um, so I don't know my uh, Makovnikov's rule um, you, if I explained that in words, I'd probably get a mark for it if they asked me to memorize the rule and just recite the rule. Uh, but I'm just giving you an understanding of why it will occur based on positives attracted to negative, which is uh, all chemistry is. It's nice and simple. Um, this one here, I, I don't really like this because it doesn't, how do you get to that situation first? How do you get to a situation where uh, that occurs and then we're going to say that this carbon's more, more stable? Um, doesn't make sense. You've sort of skipped a step. It makes far more sense to just look at positives attracting to negative. Therefore, it must be this one. Uh, therefore, that's positive and that uh, the negative bromine will attach. Okay, hope you found that helpful. Thank you.